I always put my left boot on first and the right boot. <laughs> Nathan Romanen, born and raised in Squamish, BC, makes ski racing sound and look easy. But obviously, there's more to it than just putting your boots on in a particular order. Nathan is strong at most of the technical aspects to do with skiing. So, great body position, well balanced, athletic. He has an ability that some people call a natural ability. I think it's something that you work for a lot when you're much younger. I started skiing in the U12 age division, and then my career, I guess you could say, started taking off when I was about 13 years old, so my second year of U14. Those couple years there, I started putting in a lot of work and like put a lot of time and effort into it, and my results started showing that. Exceptional results stem from a great attitude. To race World Cup on the national team would be quite cool, but uh, just always keeping a positive mindset and being happy with what I'm doing is my end goal. Don't be hard on yourself. Skiing, it's, a, it's definitely a long learning curve sport, so take it slowly and uh, just focus on, your, focus on what you're working on. You're gonna get those elbows in, eliminate that scoop, right? Make yourself into a nice tight package. Nathan's focus this winter has been to maintain his strength and mobility and to work on his tuck. Elbows, Nate. I'm usually training four days a week on hill and uh, a lot of off the hill training too in the gym. I love learning new stuff in skiing, so learning something that I've been working on for a few months and getting it dialed in is a great feeling. Here we go. At this year's Canadian Championships in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Nathan brought the gold home in the Alpine Combine and silver in the GS. But it was a race that he didn't finish that best shows his character. Came into the slalom, I came up first run, skied spectacular, and uh, course conditions were breaking down. So second run, and we're under the lights, and I get to watch him come down, and I thought maybe he's going to be nervous, maybe he's going to hold back or something else. And now he charged like he was going to win both runs. Um, small mistake at the bottom, ended up blowing out, but seeing that that's your approach from your athlete to come down and be like, yeah, I'm going to go either win this thing by a second or blow out because I'm not going to hold on just for being on the podium. It's either the top step or nothing else. It was really nice for me to see that, see that he's got a good head on his shoulders when it comes to how to push, when to push, and it wasn't a silly mistake that made him blow out. It's just one of those things that happens in ski. After outstanding results on the national level, it's tough not to have high expectations for the international stage at the 2017 Whistler Cup. I know what he's capable of. He's in his own class when it comes to racing in this province. My expectations are, and my hopes are, that he comes out and skis to his potential for these race days, and I think that will be exceptional results. Since uh, Whistler Cup will be my last race in my U16 career, so I'm going to be going in strong mentally and physically, and hopefully to put up some good results. Yeah!